Hi, I would like to share with you the scriptures from Gospel Luke chapter 15. Um, it's a familiar parable that we've all heard before. Um, I'm going to start start on um, chapter 11. I mean, verse 11 of chapter 15. Then he, Jesus, said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls on me. So he divided to him his livelihood, and not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, got a journey to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish of hunger? I will rise and go to my father, and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was a gr still a great way off, his father saw him, had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And, he is, and the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven in your sight, and am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and sandals on his feet, and bring the fat calf here, and kill it, and let us eat, and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found, and they began to be merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants, and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed a pet cow. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you, I have never transgressed your commandment at any time, yet, and yet you never gave me a young goat, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this, your, as soon as this son of yours came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you have killed a fatted calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead in his life again, and his, was lost and is found. Now, um, now the whole thing of the, of the prodigal son is very simple. That um, this this son uh, who is, uh, I mean, wants to go on on his way, live his own life, and. Um, and he tells his father, "Father, I want what, what I'm going to inherit." So his father gives him his portion of his inheritance, and then he go, goes off, lives in the far country, and then spends all, all the. All, all that he has in wild living, and then afterwards there's a uh, famine, and son, son begin, begins to um, be in want. He becomes a beggar. He ends up working for um, farmer, farmer pigs, which, um, which to the Jews is an unclean animal. It's like, it's, it's like, a, like a raising. Uh, like, like, ra like raising, uh, like, like raising cannabis in uh, countries where like cannabis is forget forbidden, and uh, he's he's like he was, he was scrounging around wanting something to eat, and nobody gave him anything, and and. Coming to his senses and realizing that, that even his father's servants had it better than he he had it right now, and so he decided that he was going to go home and confess to his father that he's that he has sinned against him and against heaven, and he's no longer worthy to be called a son. And uh, 
and to make it make him want make him want to search. So he so the son comes home and for, while he comes home the father sees him coming and he fall fall I mean he receive he receives the son and he, and um son try tries to try tries tries to say say all these things he wanted to say to his father. I'm no longer that I'm that I've sinned against you and against heaven and I'm no longer be worthy to be called your son and it's but father um so I the taking in anyway and we're, we're given the um given shoe clean clothes and clean I mean shoes on his feet um ring on his finger and bring, brings him back into the family and kills the fatty calf and everyone celebrates his return. Now the other son who is uh, who is out on the field, he gets upset you see, when he sees that the um, father has killed, killed the fatty calf for, uh, for the other son and he and I mean Th these are these are like, these two sons are like like two different people. I mean, we have. I mean, the 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 obedient son. I mean, it, on the one hand, is talking about the uh, Jews who are who are obedient to law, and and yeah, and um, the prodigal son is talking about the, those who um like either left the faith. Became prodigals, and they're just uh, they're just talk, we're just talking about sinners and other nations in general. And uh, I mean, go, I mean, I mean, the whole whole point of this story is uh, God. God is um, re willing and ready to receive all those who. Uh, Turn our backs and to come come back to him, and so like he call he calls for all all of us to repent and turn turn from our sins, and he and he's more than willing to forgive us of our sins and clean us up and give us a uh, place in in his family, and even if we uh. Even if we st stray far, far from him, God, God is uh, God will move heaven and earth to bring bring us uh, back to him. And he's like, he's, I mean, and uh, I mean, le le lesson here, lesson here, um, in the original. When Jesus originally spoke, this parable was for the Jews. I mean, are they willing to um, be a par part of the uh, party that um, God, God is throwing for sinners that are that are tur turning to uh, turning turning to Lord for for forgiveness and just. Uh, or are you just going to rest under uh, good good works and obedience law to? Uh, ha I mean, ha to be accepted by the Lord. I mean, because I mean, it, I think of what what it says in uh, I, Isaiah that all our righteousnesses are like filthy rags for the Lord. We can't. The, all the good, all the good that we do for the Lord will never be enough to ha have us be accepted by Him. The only good that we can do is uh, receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to uh, share with you in this video. So, have a good day, and God bless you.